Greetings, I am Hellswake and this is a quick guide on setting up window to borderless gaming for what I consider to be the best way to play Diablo 2. If you're at all familiar with playing Diablo 2 on modern PCs, you know that the default options for doing so are not optimal. Launching the game directly takes extra time while the game boots up and whenever you need to alt tab and playing in windowed mode is rather limited in that you can only play in the actual resolution of 800 by 600 or maximize the window to fit your open screen height and that border is always there taking up precious space while windowed mode does let you alt tab quicker your mouse isn't locked to the screen so it's easy to accidentally click outside of the game while you're playing which could result in, well, enter windowed borderless gaming by West Tech Solutions. This is a free program which is easy to use and is available for download from their website, link in the description. Windowed borderless gaming offers us the following benefits. Borderless, it's in the name, get rid of that ugly space hog of a border. Set any custom resolution. You can fill your entire widescreen with Diablo 2 goodness or retain beautiful pixel integrity using the game's innate 4x3 aspect ratio. Lock the mouse to the screen. Shove your cursor into the screen's edge as hard as you want with no worries of a cheap death. And it also retains the other benefits of normal Diablo 2 windowed mode like quick start, quick alt tab and the better pixel scaling. Yeah, that all sounds good, looks good. Now I'll show you how to use it. All right, so how to set up windowed borderless gaming. It's pretty easy, and again, all of the instructions are in the description. First, we're gonna need to download the program. The website looks like this. This is the download page. You just download it. You're gonna get a zip file, and when you unzip it, you're gonna get a folder with a readme and an exe file. So you're going to want to run the program. And it looks like it didn't do anything. It created a configuration file, but it's also right here in the system tray. This is it right here. But we're not going to worry about that just yet. Now we're going to need to run Diablo 2 from a windowed mode shortcut. Or if you're playing on Plugi like I am currently, just have the active windowed mode set to 1. And uh, there we go. Once Diablo 2 is running, we're going to go to the system tray, right click on the borderless windowed gaming icon, click add window, click back on the Diablo 2 window, and just hit F3. And it will make it borderless window. And now we can just go back to that menu. And go to settings game settings and Diablo 2 and here we can set our resolution so the default resolution looks like it's set it to 800 by 600 so I wanted to span my full screen height here so I'm just gonna move my start menu which isn't how I normally have it actually and set the resolution to 1920 by 1440. This is the way I like to do it because this is a 4x3 aspect ratio. It doesn't stretch the game screen at all. Click apply and boom, there we go. We have a very nice looking Diablo 2 screen. Let me uh, move those out of the way. There we go. Now I can come in, play my character, do all that good stuff. Looks good to me. So now we can turn on manage mouse settings and lock to game window if we so choose. It's always handy to have. And uh, if you're wondering how to figure out what resolution you need to set, if you're looking to have a four by three aspect ratio, it's pretty easy. Just take your desired Y resolution for example, 1440, and divide it by 0.75, and that will give you the X resolution that you need to make it a 4x3. 3 divided by 0.75 is 4. For example, 600 divided by 0.75 is 800. If you're on 1080p, 
that will give you an X resolution of 1440. If you're on 720, that will give you 960. All of those resolutions, 960 by 720, 1440 by 1080, are 4 by 3 aspect ratio. In my opinion, it looks better this way, but you can, if you wish, set this to your full resolution to have the game span the full screen. I don't like the stretched look, but some people just like having the full screen effect. Just do whatever works best for you, and uh, next time you run the game, if you open up Borderless Windowed Gaming first, have it active in your system tray, your settings will apply automatically. So, it's a really easy thing to do. Alright, and it's really that simple. That's how you set up Windowed Borderless Gaming. I know I kept calling it Bordered Windowless Gaming. I don't know. Uh, you know what I meant. So, thanks for watching. I hope you found it helpful, and I will see you in the next video.